The next couple of videos compare an atom's atomic number with its atomic mass and show how protons and neutrons can explain both of them. This video looks mostly at atomic number. Remember the atomic mass of a carbon atom is made equal to 12 unified atomic mass units, or 12U. This makes hydrogen equal to 1U. So all the others are bigger than 1. To write the relative atomic masses instead, we just drop the units U. About a hundred years ago, scientists found a way to look inside atoms and found they were made of three kinds of smaller particles. Protons and neutrons in their center, called the nucleus, and electrons orbiting in shells outside. The nucleus is much smaller than shown here in the diagram. If an atom were the size of a football stadium, then its nucleus would be the size of a pea. This means that most of an atom's size comes from its orbiting electrons and that an atom is mostly empty space. Normally, things circling like these electrons would just whiz off into space without some kind of attractive force. What keeps the electrons stuck onto the atom? Here's a clue. The protons carry a positive electric charge, the electrons carry a negative electric charge, and opposite charges attract. Without these forces, atoms would fly apart. They're like invisible strings holding the electrons onto the atom. These electric charges are incredibly important, but we'll put them aside for a while because we're mostly interested in the atom's mass here. In 1913, the English physicist Henry Moseley worked out how to count protons in the nucleus by measuring the atom's X-rays. He found one inside hydrogen, two inside helium, three in lithium, four in beryllium, five in boron. Wow! These are their atomic numbers. How many in a sodium atom? Eleven, of course. The atomic number is equal to the number of protons in the nucleus. This is a more modern definition of atomic number. And you can see again why they're consecutive whole numbers. Protons can only come in wholes, not fractions. This definition means that what an element is like depends on how many protons its atoms have in their nuclei. Later, we'll find out how hydrogen's one nuclear proton 
makes it an explosive gas. And how sodium's 11 protons make it a soft, shiny metal. But how do we explain atomic mass using protons, neutrons and electrons? That's coming up in the next video.